Okay, so uh, this video is going to be on mounting Windows and TFS disks in Ubuntu. Um, so I drew a little diagram here to explain what I'm trying to do. So I have a dual boot system. I've got Windows 10 sitting on a 960 Pro NVMe hard drive, which is what this looks like. This plugs right into your motherboard without any cables or anything. It just literally mounts to the motherboard. Um, it's got NTFS, obviously, because it's Windows, and it's a 512 gig. And then when I, when I boot to Ubuntu, um, it's actually booting off of a, a SATA-connected 256 gigabyte um, 850 Evo, I believe. And uh, it runs, e I've got it running EXT Forks um, file system. And when I boot into Linux, though, I've got these two other volume, two other large spindle disks. I got two one terabyte disks in my system that I use heavily with Windows because I've got like virtual machines maybe running on them, or I've got a bunch of video games installed in here that I don't want to put in here as a top tier storage because I really don't have a lot of space. So if it's games I don't play a lot or I don't care about the performance, I stick them. Um, on these one terabyte volumes. Now, however, some of the things I want to be able to access from Linux, like I'd like to be able to get to the um, virtual machine files in Linux so that I can use my, my VMware workstation virtual machines in both Linux as well as Windows. I can use those same virtual machine files so that I can, I can do my tests for Puppet or, or um, other Linux things, whatever it is that I'm working on. So uh, what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to mount both of these NTFS volumes in Ubuntu and it's actually pretty easy to do. Ubuntu comes with the appropriate um, file system driver for that. It's called NTFS-3G, and uh, it mounts pretty pretty easy. But you do have to add those mount statements into your uh, FS tab, FS table. So let's get started with that. So a couple things we want to do is um, we want to find the volumes. And so the easy way to find those volumes is using um, FDisk list. And if you scroll through here, you can see I got a bunch of volumes. But the big ones I want to pay attention to are like this is this is the bootable volume for Linux. It's a 256 gigabyte. I know it says 238, but that's just how it calculates sales sales and marketing versus actual. And then here are my two one terabyte volumes, and they both have, as you can see, NTFS on them. And then I have my NVMe volume here that's 512 gigs. And that's Windows. So um, I also want to throw out there that be very if you're going to mount a Windows volume, like you only have two disks maybe in your dual boot and you want to access data off of this, this Windows OS volume, be very careful when you mount the OS volume of Windows because Linux doesn't pay as much attention to um, file protection and it'll show a lot of files that you probably shouldn't have access to unless you know what you're doing. Um, hopefully you do if you're using Linux, but you could potentially accidentally delete something off of this volume and then not be able to boot to it or modify permissions or something stupid, right? So in my case, I'm not gonna mount this volume. I don't care to mount this one. Any data that I wanna see in Linux will be on these two data disks instead. And that's gonna be these two 930 gig or one terabyte volumes. So um, so basically those are, the, those are the two volumes I wanna pay attention to, SDB and SDC under devices. And um, the next command I wanna run is this thing called BLKID, BLKID. And what I want to look for is a UUID for those two volumes. So they're going to be, remember I said SDA and SDB, because you can see that up here. Uh, let's find it again. SDB, SDA. So volume number one, volume number two on A and B, or volume one on both of those, sorry. And then so when I did a, a, a BLK ID, I got um, these two listed here. And so it lists a UUID. So this is what I want to use to um, mount that. So there's actually, I think you might be able to use a different method, but this different method with maybe just specifying these device, but that's not how I'm going to do it. We're going to specify UUID and mount it that way. So uh, let's get started with that. So I want to take and copy these guys. I want this one. And, and this, you can see the label that's provided. This is the same label that I see in Windows, label G and label G2. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these guys down here because I know that one's G and this one's going to be G2. And then basically what we're going to do next is we're going to edit and you have to do this from root. So I've already um, s, a, a sudo dash s into, into root. So everything I type is root at this point. So I'm going to say vi, uh, et cetera, fs tab, come in the fs tab. And I am going to put in some tag here to say what this is. I'm going to put this as a hashtag as a comment. So it's going to be NTFS mounts 
and um, we're going to go ahead and type in these commands here. So it's going to be UUID equals, grab this first number, oops, first number. <sighs> I get so confused here, bro. Control Shift V is paste in terminal. Okay, so, so that's going to be the number there. And then I'm going to tab, and I'm going to mount this to media, and I'm going to mount it to a directory I'm going to create called G, which actually I believe I already created it, but I'll show you that in a second. I'm going to specify the file system type, and then I'm going to say defaults, no spaces here, windows, names. This is just basically specifying the type of content that's going to be on this disk. us.utf8, tab, zero, tab, zero. Okay, so... That's going to be for volume one. We're going to type this again because I got two disks. I'm going to put that guy here, not spaces. I like tabs, media. I didn't spell that right. Media G2, tab, NTFS, dash three, G, tab, defaults, windows, names, locale, English, United States, UTF 8, zero, zero. Okay, so I've added both of these lines to the FS tab. I'm going to escape out. I'm going to write and quit to save that file. And um, nothing happens, right, until you either reboot or you specify a mount dash A. But first what we want to do, because we need to make sure that these folders exist or directories exist, I've got a G and a G2, G2 folder. And you can see there's nothing in them because they're not mounted. But basically that would have just been a make dir G and a make dir G2 to make those folders. <laughs> So that when you run the mount statement against those volumes, that it it will um, mount to that particular directory path. So um, if you don't have NTFS 3G, you could look in your repository for um, 3G. In this case, I'll just do an NTFS 3G like I'm going to install. And it'll tell me I've already got the latest version. Um, so if you're using something different than this version of Ubuntu, which is 18.04, maybe it doesn't come with the correct version or it doesn't come with it at all. NTFS 3G, you can likely get it from there. Um, I'm pretty sure you can also download it from NTF, NTFS 3G's website. So I'm not going to include that link. You'll have to Google for that. Okay, so now that I've got my FS tabs defined here, I've got my NTFS mounts down at the bottom there. I am going to go ahead and type a mount-a, which is a mount, same as mount-all. And I'm just basically going to go re re -go, recalculate the FS tab file and it'll mount to all of the volumes that you've specified in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so, so here's what I did before I made this. This is interesting. Before I made this video, I unmounted these volumes, and I must have unmounted them in a non-clean way because I did a U mount, and so now they've they've tagged themselves as. Um, unclean file system. So to be honest with you, I'm not going to repair this from Linux. You probably can, but I'm going to go ahead and just boot it back into Windows, and I can repair those volumes if there's anything to be done on them at all, and um, it should clear that error. But you shouldn't necessarily see that, and and um, by default, it's not going to mount read-only. It should mount read-write, but that's interesting that a U-mount did that. So that's basically it. Now you can see on my, my, vol my desktop here, I've got the two mounts because I'm showing I went to um, options and I said show mounted files and folders or mounted volumes rather. And so I want them to list here. So if I open one of these guys up, you can see that I've got um, various files on here. And obviously it's got some of the Windows based files like recycle bin. That's literally the recycle bin in Windows. But I've got my, my ISOs and some virtual machines. This is really what I was looking to get to because I want to use VM, VMware Workstation in Linux. And so I wanted to make sure I could get to this. And so that's basically it. The other thing I wanted to show you is if you say in DF, if you say dash TH, which I believe H is human readable, but the T means type. So it'll actually show you the type of file system. So you can see all my file systems here and the types of each of them. Um, what's funny is that the file system type here for the NTFS volumes is actually... F use BLK, which to be honest with you, I don't know what that means. I'll have to Google that one. What is a fuse BLK file system? There you go. So basically, I guess when you sh when you mount an NTFS volume, it shows up as fuse BLK because that's just 
how it works. Uh, I'm assuming that's only going to be related to Ubuntu, maybe. I don't know. But that's, uh, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you need to mount any Windows shares, it's actually pretty, or disks, it's actually pretty easy to do. So um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.